Hello YouTube, this is Ethikiel again, doing part 5 of the After Action Report for Operation Bluecoat. In the last video we took out the first of the Panzer IVs, one on the left flank there. So at the moment it's desperately trying to take out two more Panzer IVs that are holding the second objective with infantry support for uh, German King Tigers who have come in on the far end of the map uh, into the battle. So at the moment just double checking um, as my troops on the left flank move into position to flank the objective. The first objective, uh, Objective Hector. Sorry, the second objective, sorry. I was going to um, move the two-man Bren team up into that uh, line of houses to not necessarily uh, shoot at the enemy but just to um, get eyes on just do some recon then, uh, oh okay I've got some artillery falling on me now uh, damn it looks like I've lost about three yeah three guys I think from that one squad so once again probably from that spotting round earlier probably was German um, doesn't look like that's it. Just those two rounds. A very, very quick burst, but. Very, very quick burst, but uh, still did some damage. Actually, quite lucky again. Okay, got secondary explosions from the destroyed tank. Okay, and I think they're coming under fire. Yep, so there's got some inf an infantry squad close by. Okay. Luckily no casualties from some rifle fire from there. But yeah, from those houses I can see both the remaining tanks. Um, they should be buttoned up, so they sh uh, should hopefully um, keep my men troops hidden from uh, the German panzers. Yeah, there's those uh, glitched out mortars at the back there uh, playing uh, no part in the battle, that's for sure. So I just want to put some mortar, light mortar fire um, onto that uh, closest position. Just uh, keep the Germans' heads down. While I uh, move the rest of my uh, platoon up into the buildings. So I'm just thinking, uh, yeah. Move all the squads up. That's what I'm, uh, that should definitely have fire superiority now. And uh, the mortar, light mortar, will fire some smoke on that road just to provide some uh, concealment from the German tank. The far German tank, sorry, on the right flank there. As I said in the last video, that uh, one German soldier in the barn there who have, who surrendered to us but isn't leaving the map is... Uh, I'm querying it, and uh, there must be Germans close by that can potentially rescue the man. So, um, something to keep an eye on. There must be Germans close, still on that right flank somewhere. So once it, uh, this whole flank opens up, uh, it is going to get uh, very loud 
and I'm guessing I'm going to spot a lot of Germans holding this objective. Just in time too, as some uh, light mortars, mortars off map mortars, uh, start coming down as well. Okay. Hello, fire mission. Out. Okay, my infantry are shooting at the uh, armor, which isn't a good idea, but. But I've spotted some more infantry along the hedge line, covering the road. Okay, the King Tiger is still a way off, that's uh, very good. Uh, just that, uh, I know that German team there, I'm going to put some mortars on now, has at least one MG42. That's the squad that cut down my, um, Hello, my engineers in the, uh, I think it was the second video. So, could have done that sooner, but um, I think I actually just forgot. <laughs> so we'll try and bring up some more fire into those buildings uh, with the heavy machine gun team. They can deploy in one of the windows, uh, they can give some long range support. Still having a few drinks here. Still very, very hot <laughs> here in Australia. And uh, this platoon here, 14th platoon, which I think was the first platoon I actually had on the map. Um, they've been idle for quite some time now. I'm just going to move them up uh, to the uh, north side of the Paris objective there, covering that side of the road. Um, we'll just ensure n there's still no Germans hiding in that little forest. I could have fled the field and uh, cover the flank of uh, the platoon that's uh, well forward now. I'll leave the pier team closest to the road just in case we get some uh, armour that decides to do a mad dash towards the objective. And I just forget moving that mortar, he's glitched out. Okay, it looks like the pier team there are doing buddy aid already. And look at the soldiers that fell from that uh, stray artillery round. Okay, we've got a good smoke screen will form in this next minute. Um, move that mortar team up. Hello, rounds complete. End of mission. Out. Okay, King Tiger in the back there is charging down the main road. Keep an eye on that. I think that's German water fire there. I think they're doing their own spotting rounds. Okay, and the men that are a little bit of a mistake on my part, I was, didn't really think about it. Um, the TAC AI decided to charge straight over that main road in line, but it has forced the Germans to open fire and reveal their positions. And that Panzer IV in the centre there is looks like it's going after my infantry on the left flank, the, on, the, on the hill there. 
So this is actually really good. This is an opening. Okay. So uh, it looks like that platoon's getting across the main road without any trouble. I think they're taking some fire, but um, it's uh, nothing to be worried about at the moment. So I'll let, I'll let them continue. And with that tank attention now focused onto the left flank of the guys on the hill, um, I'm going to charge these uh, Churchills straight forward, um, get onto the main road and uh, take that Panzer IV out. Uh, I'm going to move up the plat platoon and um, yeah, basically hopefully the three Churchills, at least one of them should get the first shot off. Um, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, worst case scenario, I may lose one tank if the Panzer can react fast enough to get back and uh, shoot at the new threat. Uh, then the other two uh, Churchills can uh, still pummel him at close range. So just going to button them up because uh, there's still infantry around. That's going to delay their reactions a little bit. But the Panzer IV is also buttoned up, so he's also got very he's got slower reactions already. So I think I'm going to get the second Panzer here. Just to be safe, I'm going to pull back these squads that are in line of sight of the Panzer immediately. I don't want a single 75mm round into a building like that could really hurt a squad um, that's all piled up in the, against those windows. The final squad, the third squad, uh, they're closest to my lines. It isn't in line of sight of that Panzer that's turning, so I'm going to keep him there to maintain the pressure. It's all a question of timing, as a lot of things in this game is. Um, those infantry will react pretty damn quickly and get out of that building. Um, however, the Churchills have to move quickly now, otherwise the Panzer's just going to go back to his main orders and look down that main road and probably get first shot off. So it's going to have some armour arcs as well on the um, Churchills, just so they know when they get to that point, really focus on that area, find that Panzer and take it out. Moment of truth. Okay, the Panzer IV isn't fired. I think he's lost contact with the infantry. And yeah, he's turning back. He's turning back. He's spotted the Churchills. Okay, he's firing machine guns. Okay, my Churchill got the first uh, shot off. Partial penetration, but it's still going to rattle the crew inside. Another partial penetration. And looks like they, yep, they're dismounted, so I think we've we got the chip. We got, we, we got the Panzer IV. We, yeah, we definitely got the Panzer IV. <laughs> Perfect. Couldn't have gone any better. Over. Okay, just one more Panzer IV to go. Just going to rewind it, look at it from the German point of view for this minute. A lot of action happened there. It's also the benefit of playing um, in this format, the Wego format, which is well, the original way of playing combat mission. If you play real time, you really can't do this. So he's lost contact with the infantry. He is immediately going back and he spots, pretty much immediately spots. You see that little, um, little jig there? Immediately goes after the Churchills. Just he was aiming for doing the final aiming as well, so just got him just in time. So the second Panzer, second Churchill actually missed. There we go. Got a damaged tank. Got a damaged tank and uh, you see three Churchills, are you probably going to bail out as well. <laughs> okay, I 
I got just notice a German running away from that building. Yeah, just reg oh, just regular squad by the look of him. And oh, and another more German. There was Germans in in that uh, forest still, but that's immediately cut down. Oh, that's, that's a nasty way to go. Okay, very productive turn. Okay, just going to move that uh, Churchill up a bit further. And I'll uh, probably move the other vehicles up as well. The Stuart and the uh, Sexton. I'm not going to use a self-propelled artillery to uh, target that. Uh, I, think it, I think it's an MG squad in there. Um, perfect vantage point. I'm looking the uh, my right side of that village. So a few um, 88 mil high explosives should. Uh, make those Germans uh, run away and the support German as well will also move up and open fire just gonna close up the tanks uh, still very close to infantry don't want to lose tank commanders if I can help it One problem there is um, by destroying that tank on the main road, it's blew up a big dust field. Um, can't see beyond down the road any, anymore. So if the German if the German AI um, decides to uh, charge forward again at this moment, uh, they can really do it really concealed. Uh, could probably get on that main road ready to fire as soon as the dust clears. I'm just going to keep an eye on that. Hands are four on the right flank. I can't get him from the road. It's got too much uh, tree coverage. Fire for effect. Out. I could charge right ahead to Hector um, and flank him from the main road there, but uh, considering they're Germans with oh okay, with the Germans with Panzer four Panzer forces, Panzer Faust, or whatever else pronounce it, um, not a good idea. So it's. Oh, damn it. Okay. Took a hit. Hello, Rams. Just rapid him. There's there's another German tank. I don't know if that's a King Tiger or not in the Priam objective. Ah, uh, damn it. Two hits. And it looks like I've lost my main gun uh, and an MG, but the, damn it, that oh, tank now is uh, next to useless. Okay, i got to find out what's shooting at him. I don't think... Come to think of it, I don't think it would be the... Um, the King Tiger's doing that because if it was a King Tiger, that, that Churchill wouldn't be alive. Um, it's a big difference between a 70, 75 mil and a 88 mil. Okay, and oh no, I've take, got new artillery, which is 183 millimeter howitzers, but I got a nagging feeling the only, well, like the aircraft, the only thing that can call it in was the Ford Observer, which is now dead. Damn. Lesson learned again, ladies and gentlemen, don't lose your forward observers. Uh, that's another damn blow. The only thing I'm hope for now is more reinforcements, which includes a second forward observer. Sometimes you get lucky and uh, in these long scenarios that uh, that can happen. And that second forward observer is going to be rushing forward if I ever get him. <laughs> So 
So I'm just going to clear this um, main road. There's a German tank with line of sight. So I've got smoke popped all the way around that main road. It's going to fill up very quickly. Um, this platoon's going to move right to my right flank downhill. Um, still got two tanks with main guns, so I can still challenge that Panzer IV. Um, yeah, the main thing is just keep that main road clear by the looks of it. So yeah, pop as much smoke as possible with those Churchills and um, get them out of the way. It's going to take a while for them to reverse out and uh, pull away, so you want as much smoke as possible. It's going to need to last a little bit longer. So I'll just move them right around to the... Uh, Right, the right flank of the Paris objective. Uh, fingers crossed, get some eyes on that final Panzer. Not ideal taking him from the front, but I'm running out of options to move him. Uh, to move my forces, sorry. Um, still, uh, especially with the tank downrange now, Prem, really don't want to be charging down that main road. Um, that's uh, taking a huge, huge gamble. And then you've got to survive the close range contact with the infantry as well. That's still holding Hector, so uh, yeah, won't be doing that. So I lost contact with uh, the King Tiger. So I'm thinking of putting the, uh, the those 114mm guns onto the Priam objective. Hopefully the, all those infantry contacts I've seen back there will be taking up positions within that final objective. And uh, yeah, 114mm rounds landing on top of them would be very nice from my point of view. Put some more mortar fire on that right flank, I think. If I can get a good line of sight. Hello, fire mission over. Still got that. Uh, those 25 pounders on Hector. Thinking, do I still need them or not? Do I save the ammo for the final objective, so I can really pound Priam hard? Or moving in. So, um, as I said, time, as I said before, timing is very important for this game, but also resource allocation, uh, managing your resources to the best of your ability. So, just move these guys, that tank now dead, move those forces forward. Um, and, ch and after seeing those infantry in that fort house there um, retreat, it's, uh, I think it's time to really move on in force, get up close. They should be safe from the German side of Hector. Um, oh yeah, that squad took a casualty. Let's move them forward, press the advantage, get up and cl get close, and uh, hopefully get superior fire, fire superiority into them. Adjust that a little bit. Yeah. Just hunt that last little bit away and then turn to face the Panzer IV. And once they're there, they can target anything. Um, infantry, tank, whatever. No. Make that... Uh,
Okay, this uh, second platoon of Churchills is trying to get them up quickly. Uh, I'm still on that main road, but... Um, I've got a nagging feeling I'm going to need them soon. Just a bit of a, bit of a delay just to make sure there's no traffic jams. Still got this scout, uh, mobile st scout detachment there, which I uh, don't know what to do with them yet. No, I'm just double checking. He can't even he can't call in the, um, the large guns as a uh, as a forward scout blast. See though, it smokes really taking effect now. Sexton still blasting away at that building. Oh damn it! Oh, okay. Didn't lose the didn't lose the tube, but uh, uh, lost a couple of guys there. Ah oh, damn it! Okay, maybe not as bad as I thought. Uh, three or four guys. Not perfect, but could be worse. Okay, so we've got smoke really covering that main road now. Sexton, because it already has line of sight, is still blasting away at that. Um, still blasting away at that uh, MG suspected MG position, I should say. Let's have a final look around. And my uh, Churchill's uh, starting to get into position as well. They're off the main road, that's good. It's, yeah, still struggling to spot that last Panzer IV, that's going to be a real problem. Okay, I think we'll, uh, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Any comments or thoughts and opinions, please post them below. Thanks for watching guys.